Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times, we'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So, today is the 29th of December, I think. Um, and I was going to wait until I got paid from Etsy for the last time, which will come through on... Actually, it comes... Tuesday, um, but I have a rough idea of what I am going to get from that check, and so I wanted to go ahead and get um, my extra debt snowball payment taken care of um, now. So before I jump to my computer screen to take you guys with me while I make those payments live, um, I just wanted to kind of show you where I stood with debt going into the month of December. So this was after I made my debt snowball payment for November, um, and this is what I was left with going into December. So I have Capital One, which was $3,662.79, and then I have one main, which is was $7,948.53, and then my car loan, which was $29,222.52. So... Obviously, with the debt snowball, um, I am paying the balance or the account that has the lowest balance, and then so on and so on and so on. So that is Capital One. Um, my goal was to be able to pay this entire amount off with what I had for December, and um, I am here to tell you guys that I am going to be able to make that happen and then I have one other thing that I'm going to put some money towards um, which I'll show you when we jump over to the computer screen um, so that means that going into into 2020 I will be working on this debt here one main which is a personal loan and then once that is paid I will jump to my car loan now I did put up a video um, last week I think it was about um, going over my 2020 debt payoff plan and that video first of all I have to say that it is the very first video that I've ever had in my one year of being on YouTube that got over 20,000 views and it just hit 20,000 views today so I am so excited um, I don't know what happened because I posted it like a week and a half ago and then within like the last two or three days it has just skyrocketed and really taken off um, so go check out that video to see what I plan on paying off for 2020 um, and what months that I'm doing that in and kind of what my my plan is, my goals are, um, and hopefully I am able to achieve those. But anyways, I am going to go ahead and jump over to my computer screen um, so we can go ahead and get these payments made. Um, we'll start with this one and then you guys will see what else I am going to do um, with the little bit of extra money that I have. I just did this whole recording through the screen recording and the microphone was not on. So I'm just going to play back the video here and I'll just do a voiceover and I hope that this will work. So um, what I am doing is basically going in here and I'm going to pay off Capital One. So I'm at my Capital One account right now. Um, the balance is $3,600.70. Yep, I said that right. Um, is what is owed on it. So it is due the, let's see here, January 1st, $115 is due. But I'm just going to go ahead and make the payment right now. Um, so that I can get it wiped out. That way going into 2020, um, it's completely paid off and I'm just, you know, working on a few extra debts. So right there I was telling you guys by shaking my mouse that I was paying that. And so that current balance of $3,600.70 um, is what we're going to be paying. 
It is so frustrating when things do not work out. I said this whole long spiel this whole time I was making this screen recording and nothing worked. <laughs> At least I got the video part of it, which is good because I can't really redo these live payments. So this is just going to have to work. So we're going down here. Um, we're going to pay that $3,600.70. Um, and obviously anything confidential that I don't want you guys to see is going to be blurred out. Um, that way nobody can come and try to steal my credit card information. That would be pretty devastating. Um, but we're paying that amount. We're going to pay it from my checking account and then um, it's being paid today, which is January 29th. So we're going to submit that payment and let it do its thing here. And there we go. We have $3,600.70 paid to my credit card. And that is my very last credit card. Um, so basically, I have no more consumer debt um, is what you would call that. The only two that I have now are my personal loan and my car payment or my car loan. So no consumer debt. I have no credit cards, no department store credit cards, anything like that. So that's really exciting. Um, it is amazing to me how, you know, $3,600 is a lot of money. And although I am really loving that I was able to put all that amount towards paying off my credit card, um, it's actually very hard to, at times, do that. Um, because having that much money, I mean, that could pay for a really nice vacation or really nice new furniture or, you know, lots of other things that are a lot funner than just putting it towards debt. But I just have to sit back and think that, you know, I'm doing this for a reason. And when you're on a debt-free journey, you know, some things are not as easy as others. Um, and I know that even though I'm paying that amount now, it is big, but it is going to help me and my kids, you know, better our financial situation. So I'm done with Capital One, um, and then I told you guys that there was something else I wanted to pay, and that is going to be my car insurance. So I have never paid car insurance any other way than on a monthly basis. Um, so ever since I have been paying car insurance was, I think, since I've been 18, um, I have paid it on a monthly basis, and I've never even thought any way different. Um but I actually was checking in to, sorry, I'm getting a message and I'm totally reading it and not paying attention. I was actually checking into um, how much of a discount you would get when paying your car insurance at a six-month premium opposed to a monthly premium. And it was about $100 savings every single, um, every single six months. So I just thought that was absolutely crazy. Um, so what I'm going to do here is, if you guys see, I'm waiting for the mouse to move because I know I talked about this, but it helps to actually see it um, as you go. So my current payment is $81.48 a month. And then if you see right there where the mouse is, that is what I'm going to pay in full. So the $472. So that $81.69 um, is what I would have to pay on a monthly basis, basis if I decided to continue to do that. Um, and if you took that $81.69 and times that by the seven months, so January 15th through July 15th, that's $571.83. So taking that minus the $472 that the premium would be if I paid it six months at a time, it's a $99.83 savings, which is over one month worth of my current car insurance. So I'm basically getting one month free by paying it six months at a time. So that's just crazy to me. Um, and I can't believe I didn't really think about doing this sooner. Um, and I really wasn't going to start this until January. I was going to start a sinking fund in January to be able to have the money come July 
to be able to pay that premium from July to December. Um, but I did have a little bit of extra money um, for December after paying the Capital One. So I thought that I would just go ahead and do it now. Um, and then, so I will pay that now, which will cover January 15th to July 15th. And then I'm still going to set that sinking fund up um, in January. And then I will use that again in July 15th when my car insurance um, is renewed. And that will cover from July to December. So that's what I'm going to do there. So we're going to go ahead and select my payment method, which we're going to do my checking account. Um, and we're going to do it for today. And we're going to go ahead and get my information in here. And again, all of this is going to be blurred out so you guys cannot see. And I realized I couldn't spell my name today twice. So we're going to put in the routing number and make sure we get it correctly. I can tell I'm typing really slow, so I can tell I was really trying to concentrate and get the right numbers. It's really weird doing a voiceover and watching yourself type or move the cursor around. And to try to remember what you were saying at that specific moment is uh, somewhat difficult. But I'm glad that I'm at least that I'm glad I at least I got the video footage because these types of videos you just if I didn't get it I would have lost it and we wouldn't have had one of these videos. So we're paying $472 today. We're gonna hit continue. Um, and then sending you to DocuSign. So I have to authorize the payment. Comes up with a fancy little document, online document signature form. So we're going to agree to the terms and conditions, sign the document, push sign, and then it automatically inputs my name. And then we'll click finish here. And da, 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 da. Perfect. So it says by paying in your policy in full, you receive a discount of $52. You are no longer enrolled in electronic funds transfer and will be billed directly for future payments due. This policy will renew effective January 1st, 2020 with no lapse in coverage. So I was able to pay $472 um, for the next six months of car insurance. So I will no longer have that monthly car insurance payment of $80. Um, and that was paid today. So that was super, super exciting. Um, so I think it was sometime around this time in the video when I was telling you guys that um, I basically got Capital One paid off. I got my six-month premium for car insurance paid off. Um, and now I am going to jump back over to my overview and... Um, Sorry, I lost my train of thought again. Going to go jump back over to my overview so we can finish out this video and I can kind of show you guys where I stand now after paying um, that Capital One 360 account. So that was very exciting. I did check my screen recording and it seemed like it worked perfectly fine. So hopefully I can get it all uploaded um, without any problems. It always makes me nervous when I'm doing something like that because I I have to do it that first time. I can't re-film those or repay those, make those payments. Um, so it really has to be right the first time. So just a little recap. We paid off Capital One in full. So I am left with, trying to figure out how to do this, with these two debts right here, one main and my car loan, um, are the only two I'm left with. So I thought that was a really, really good jump start going into 2020 with only having to focus on these two debts. Um, and then by paying my, trying to figure out where I'm going here, by paying my car insurance in full, I am now wiping out this car insurance payment for $20 a week. So I'm saving myself $20 a week um, just by doing that. And I'm saving myself $100 every six months. So $200 a year just by paying it six months rather than at a time rather than 
a monthly um, basis, so I can't believe I didn't check into that sooner. It's just one of those things that you don't think of. You know, everything else you pay on a monthly basis, but you don't really think about companies giving you discounts for paying, you know, on a six-month basis or a yearly basis. And if you're able to do that, if you're able to come up with that money to do it, um, it obviously is very beneficial. So um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know the last time I did them in November, um, you guys really, really seemed to enjoy watching the live views of me actually making those payments. You know, people can always say what they do with the money, but to actually watch somebody go in and make those payments um, is really, really inspiring. Not only for you guys, but to me as well. Um, if I'm just feeling really down and I want to go comfort myself by spending a lot of money, um, it's nice that I can watch those videos and just get some motivation and inspiration watching me pay those debts off so I know that, you know, I am doing this for a reason and... There is light at the end of the tunnel, and, you know, I can definitely see the goals that I have set. I can see my way, you know, me inching towards them. So, um, I really, really hope you guys like this video. Please give it a big thumbs up. Um, I hope you guys have a really good new year, and I hope you have set yourself financial goals for 2020. Um, and if you haven't, you know, I suggest sitting down and doing that because it's a really great time to do it. Um, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!